Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360. The exact model number will be in the title and the description. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your heatsink, fans, CPU assembly. Uh, if you wanna replace those parts, if you wanna clean them out, uh, maybe reapply thermal paste, this video will help you get in there and access those components. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're gonna then flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now there's only four on this computer. You'll notice these rubber feet in, in each corner, the screws are under those. So guys, rubber feet are usually held in just by double-sided tape or glue. So I try to use a small, as small as possible flathead screwdriver or some sort of other small flat pry tool to slowly, gently pry those rubber feet up. You, you can damage them, you can rip them, but if you go slow and careful, you can pop them up without causing any damage. After you do, you'll see you have four screws, one under each rubber feet. You can remove those screws. And once you do, guys, you'll take another small flat, preferably plastic pry tool. Plastic will scratch your case a lot less than metal will. But you're going to go around the seam of the bottom case all the way around and gently pry that bottom case off from the rest of your computer. And again, go nice and slow and careful, uh, but be firm and get that bottom case off. After that bottom case is off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a side note, guys, before I do anything in my computer, before I touch any other components, the first thing I always do is either remove or at least unplug my battery. That makes it a little safer to work on the rest of the computer. Now, most of you, especially if your computer has not been entered before, right above this battery plug, you'll see a piece of tape. You gotta gently take that tape off, again, using a small flat, preferably plastic pry tool, and you can take that piece of tape off, and then you can release that battery plug there. The way that that plug works, guys, is it snaps off directly up and out of your computer. And again, I, I would use that plastic pry tool underneath these wires and try to get at the plug as much as possible, gently, slowly snap that up, and out, out of the computer. It may take a little bit. When I did it, that plug was in there really good. Uh, but again, just go nice and slow. Do a little on the left, do a little on the right until you get that plug out. After you can get that plug out, you have these four screws. If you're looking to remove the battery, you undo those four screws and your battery will then be released. Now that the battery has been either removed or at least unplugged, it's safer to go deeper into the computer. Uh, as another side note, guys, I have all my computers sitting on an anti-static pad when I'm working on them. Either that or an anti-static bracelet is a great idea to, again, avoid damaging anything in the computer while you're working on it. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement parts or upgrade parts for this specific computer, check out the link above, also below in the description, and it'll have a list of all those tools and parts. Okay, so now to get at our fan and our heat sink and our CPU, this is your fan heat sink assembly up here. You got a fan on the left, fan on the right of your screen, uh, the CPUs in the middle, and there's quite a few screws here. So each fan has three screws, and then each side of your heat sink has a screw. So we have these three screws here for the fan, and these three screws here for the fan. The fan also plugs into the motherboard right here for the right fan and right here for the left fan. Now those kinds of plugs are very fragile. They're very easily broken. I'll play a quick clip right now showing you how you can maneuver that type of plug in your computer. Okay, so to take a ribbon cable out of this kind of connector, first you have your ribbon cable here, you have the port on the motherboard, and then you have this retainer clip over here. This clip opens and shuts like a book cover. It opens from this side, and the hinges are on this side. So in order to get that up, be very careful, take a small flat pry tool, slide it underneath, and pop it up like that, and then the ribbon cable can come out. After taking the ribbon cable out, I like to put it back down for safekeeping so it doesn't get caught on anything and rip. These are very, very breakable, these retainer clips. And if you break it, you're most likely not gonna be able to find a replacement. Um, in which case your ribbon cable won't be able to uh, secure down anymore. So be very careful. To get the retainer clip back in, you would pop it up again very carefully. You would slide the ribbon cable in, 
nice and flush. It may take a few times if you're not used to it getting it flush and then just snap the retainer clip down and that's how you would operate that kind of clip. So after unplugging it from the computer, after removing these three screws, each fan can come out separately, um, independently from the rest of, of the heatsink assembly. That way, if you're just here to access your fans to clean them out or replace them, you can. To get the heatsink off, there's another screw here in the top left corner of the heatsink, and then one on this side on the right. And then of course you have these four screws right here in the middle. That's how you'd get the heatsink assembly off of your CPU. For those of you that are here to just clean out your heat sinks and your fans and your vents, um, it may be a good idea to also reapply thermal paste if you want to make sure your computer stays cool. And this is where you would do that, right on top of the CPU and on the underneath side of the heat sink that sat over this. There'll be a video link above. I'll also have it below in the description. Um, and it will also be the end video that shows up on your screen when this video is done. That'll be a tutorial in how to apply thermal paste the correct way after cleaning off the old stuff. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope it helped you access this heat sink fan assembly here uh, to do whatever you were trying to do. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question or comment, I will try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you next time.